Welcome back, everybody, to another cryptocurrency news article recorded live here at the Bitcoin Ben Crypto Club. Now, this article comes from Bitcoin Magazine, and we're going to learn what is a Bitcoin paper wallet. Now, a paper wallet is an early method used to protect Bitcoin offline, and better methods have replaced it, but people still use paper wallets to store Bitcoin safely and inexpensively. So here we go. Let's learn about it. Now, what's a paper wallet? A paper wallet is a physical document or object that comes that contains a brand new public address and private key that has been printed out. It allows its users to store the Bitcoin sent from another wallet for better safekeeping. Paper wallets are considered non-custodial cold storage because users control the private keys that can and should be printed out offline, thus removing the risks of exposing them to an internet connection and hacks. Now, there's only one way for a malicious actor to get a hold of your private key and steal your funds, and that is by physically getting control of your piece of paper where the private key is printed on. Now, while paper wallets have decreased in usage over the years because digital, digitally secure devices like Harbor wallets have replaced them, they still get some traction among Bitcoiners because of their security and affordability. Today, they are mostly used as Bitcoin ATM receipts. Now, how do they work? Dedicated generator apps are used to create paper wallets. They print out a public address for receiving Bitcoin and a private key that you need to prove ownership and thereby spend your Bitcoin. The paper wallet or document might also have a QR code embedded on it so that it can easily be scanned and signed to make the transaction. Now here's a little photo of it, what they kind of look like. You got your public key and your private key. The private key is one you never want to give away because that will give them access to the cryptos on the blockchain. But it is highly recommended that any paper wallet generator apps be used offline to prevent hackers from detecting the private key. Another good practice would be scanning your computer or smartphone with security software to establish whether it has been compromised by malware or any other cyber attack. Now, some paper wallet generators will offer the option to save private and public keys on your computer in PDF format. This is strongly advised against because a PDF is a consistently exposed to online threats. And similarly, digital pictures or scans of your wallets should be avoided to prevent hackers from detecting them. So just like when you get a seed phrase with your other wallets out there, like you don't want any digital copies out there because they are prone to attack unless that computer is always offline. But most of the time, that's not the case. So never take a photo or save it as a PDF. Also, ensure that your device's wireless and Bluetooth are turned off because hackers can exploit those signals to access your device. Now, you should take further measures to protect any funds stored in paper wallets other than working offline. When generating a paper wallet, printing the document from a device connected to a printer through a wired and not wireless connection would be a good idea. After printing, ensure you dispose of anything that can digitally store the keys during or after the generation process. Also, you could generate and use multiple paper wallets, i.e. generate a different wallet for expenses you pay using Bitcoin and use a different one for long-term Bitcoin storage. Now, the advantages and disadvantages of using paper wallets. The advantages for paper wallets have some advantages including maximum protection from cyber attacks, hardware failures, operating system errors, and breakdowns, just to name a few. Also useful for long-term storage of funds. It can easily be produced as gifts, although Open, Open Dime and Sats Card are better solutions for gifting nowadays. Now it is easy to generate and print them. Now those are some advantages to paper wallets. Now the disadvantages. They also have the following drawbacks. In case of loss, theft, or paper degrading, the user will never be able to access the address where their funds are. If you choose this method, ensure you have a safe deposit box or another security storage method for the paper wallet. So even like a fireproof bag or something, but if it gets damaged, you're out of luck. So that's a disadvantage there. Destruction can also occur in case of flooding and fire, like you just said. So two major points of failure. So you want to find ways to back that up and keep it protected there. And then the private key must be imported to software at some time to move the Bitcoin, unlike hardware wallets. Now, when withdrawing part of your funds, you risk losing the remaining balance because of the way Bitcoin treats a change in transactions. So, yeah. So considerations, paper wallets are easy to retrieve and you can obtain and store your private keys in a matter of minutes if you need quick and straightforward protection for your Bitcoin assets. However, they have been replaced by more practical and secure methods like hardware wallets that still work offline. 
like paper wallets, they are very safe, but do not suffer from risks like potential paper document destruction. So again, that paper wallet, basically, if it's gone, it's gone. Harbor, the harbor wallet's destroyed. You still have your seed phrase on the side that you're probably keeping safe as well to recover it. Now, the storage, paper wallet storage should probably be the main concern for its users, as paper is fragile, per uh, perishable, and easy to lose. Therefore, it should be maintained with extreme care in safe, fireproof, and waterproof boxes or third-party custodial deposit boxes. You also need to protect your paper wallets from being lost or stolen, and it is recommended that you make at least two copies and store them securely, certainly not online. So you should also consider laminating your paper wallet when doing so. Ensure it's done safely and that your private keys are not exposed to malicious actors. So that's a way to keep them safe, have them laminated in your own machine. Don't take it somewhere so someone can actually see it, but do it yourself. And that will definitely keep the paper from being perishable. Now, printing. Before printing out your private key, you should figure out anything that might go wrong with your machine and anticipate the problem. For instance, paper jams, ink spots, or poorly aligned printer heads can all lead to issues when creating your paper wallet. It's best to secure the creation of your paper wallet with a well-functioning printer and on a robust piece of paper. As paper deteriorates is the main reason for people refrain from using this type of storage, also, do not print on a public or work computer and clear your print queue afterwards. You can print something else afterwards to ensure the print queue is actually clear. So yeah, you don't want that saved because, well, someone hacks on your printer and then they reprint your, your paper wallet. So yep, make sure it's cleared once you're done. So in summary, while paper wallets used to be a feasible solution for early Bitcoin users who wanted to store their assets safely, at present, there are more secure and practical methods like harbor wallets that remove the inefficiency of paper wallets. Two wallets or harbor wallets I like to uh, share is usually either treasure or leisure. In my research, those have been some pretty secure and safe ones to use out there, as long as you follow all the proper rules. But yeah, those are two good harbor wallets you can use outside of paper wallets but people are still using them to try the method out and temporarily store Bitcoin until they find a more suitable solution. More precautions are required when using online tools to transfer or store data online. And if you must use a paper wallet, it is recommended that you follow this article's guidelines to stay safe out there. And yeah, paper wallets also have a good use case if you wanna help teach people about crypto and blockchain or people you don't know keep like a small amount of paper wallets that hold like five bucks on it and then like give those as a tip to waiters or something like out there go oh here you go like instructions are on the back on how you can retrieve it and then boom you're teaching someone about cryptos and blockchain and all that but yeah so that is the article on what is a bitcoin paper wallet hope you guys learned something and if you did hit that thumbs up for me subscribe to the channel and until next time the crypto sherpa is out